All right. <laughs> Against odds time. We are playing some werewolves in modern. Oh. Lots of werewolves, not lots of lands. Less werewolves, more lands. So let's just... Stomping Grounds tapped. I don't really want to shuffle away Immerwolf. Ship the turn. Misty Rainforest cracks it. Gets an island. And Serum Visions. Well, it's going to be mare time. So Wooded Foothills crack it. Get a forest. And Mare of Avbruck. Avabruck. Pass the turn. Vision suspended. Mare bolted. Okay... So, Wooded Foothills, crack it, get a forest, Immerwolf, pass the turn, Visions, counting down, Misty, well, we get to get in with Immerwolf, uh oh, are we going to get Electrolyzed, Electrolyzed is so annoying, Electrolyze, well, Kibler's favorite card, Daybreak Ranger, he owned so many of these, and played them in so many events, and could never make it work. Oh, are they going to kill Daybreak Ranger too? Good God. Well, let's rage. Put our opponent down to 11. Pass the turn. Opponent is almost ready to draw a million cards. At least Raging Ravine is now out of Lightning Bolt range. So that's something. They're going to make a million tokens. Serum Visions. Steam Vents. Tapped. Gets in with both. Yep. Well, let's... Forest, Raging Ravine, keep attacking. Oh my god, it keeps getting worse. Snapcaster, Bolt, block with Snapcaster. Gets a token, kills our Raging Ravine. Oh, they're just going to double token block. All right, that works as well. Well, <laughs> Reckless Wave, it's your time to shine. It's over. <laughs> our opponent's uh, resolving Ancestral Recall. And getting a token, and we have a 1-1. One, one. I don't think there is a card in our deck that we can draw that gets us back into it. But people always yell at me for scooping too soon, so I won't scoop. We'll just let our opponent keep keep killing us. Down to 9. Daybreak Ranger, go. Opponent's down to 10. If we had Hitsugu's second right, watch out. And a Snapcaster, number 3. Well, we do have good news. The good news is we have a couple of chokes in our sideboard, and choke is really good against our opponent. Try it like that. We get to play first. Alright, this hand's pretty aggressive. So Wooded Foothills, crack it. Get a Mountain Reckless Wave. Pass the turn. Flips around to a 3-2. Misty, cracks it. Steam Vents, untapped. Bolt. Well, Mayor of Avabruck, pass the turn. Will we actually stick a werewolf for once? Young, ooh, young Pyromancer, all right. Copperline Gorge, Gaia Reach Bandit, attack 4-4, four, four. keep the pressure on. Island for our opponent. Snapcaster for the Bolt, kills our Gaia Reach Bandit, gets a token, gets in 4-2. Well, Mare, Wolf Bitten Captive, pass the turn. How many more removal spells does our opponent have? Electrolyze. Oh my god, so many bolts. That is really getting annoying. Opponent gets in. Well, Mare, Wolfbane Captive. Seems like a pretty bad matchup. Just an opponent that has literally infinite removal spells. And they almost always draw our opponent cards. And they have drawn five Snapcasters. Yep, another forked bolt. And that pretty much does it. I mean, I don't know if our opponent is just really good against our deck, or they're running really well, or a combo. But, that's unfortunate. Yikes. Alright, against odds time, playing some red-green werewolves in modern. Battlefield Fjorge, and, uh, this is allies. Hmm, interesting. Well, Wooded Foothills, crack it. Let's just get a Stomping Ground and Reckless Wave. Ship the turn. Another Battlefield Forge. At least our opponent's going to be dealing themselves a lot of damage. Blade Master pumps up Free Blade. Opponent gets in 4-2. Puts us down to 15. Well, Reckless Wave, Raging Ravine, pass the turn. There's a Mountain for our opponent. So they aren't mono pain lands. 
battle singer. Pumps up all the allies. So we're taking eight down to seven. That's kind of lightning bolt range. Well, let's block there. Get rid of battle singer. Down to seven. I guess we just mayor of Avbrook and raging ravine. We we're kind of getting punished by all these raging ravines. Definitely not helpful in an aggro matchup. Kind of expecting we're just dead here. Another battle slinger. Yeah, I don't know if there's any coming back from this. Yeah, we're we're dead. We gotta block and chump and go to two. So we're dead to a burn spell, plus we just don't have a way of killing these creatures. And the opponent has bolt. Alright, well good news is we're on the play for game two. And we do have some powerful things if we can get them going. Uh Moon Mist seems like a good sideboard option. Another Moonlight Hunt. And go down maybe Instigator Gang and Croon Outlaw and try it like that. A little more removal. We're on the playing game too. And this is this is much better. This seems like a pretty good draw. So Mountain, Reckless Wave, go. So if our opponent doesn't have a removal spell or a one drop, we actually are going to flip a werewolf. Mountain for our opponent. Oh, it's going to happen. Reckless Wave flips. Ooh, and a wolf run. All right, let's get in with our Merciless Predator. Probably should have played Mayor pre-combat. Opponent takes their beads. Windswept Teeth, crack Windswept Teeth, get a Forest. And Mayor. Yeah, so we did cost, not cost ourselves. Oh, yeah, I guess it didn't matter because it only pumps humans now. How to Free Blade for our opponent. And passes. Ooh, moon mist. All right. Um, Emmer Wolf. And let's get in with Merciless Predator. Well, and Mare. Might as well attack with both. The risk here is a Lightning Bolt Emmer Wolf. And then they can eat the Mare. Oh. Well, I guess they didn't see that play. <laughs> that worked out much better than the two for one, which I was fearing. Another Free Blade. Pumps the Free Blade. I'm just going to get in 4 2. And we draw another Hunt Master. Well, let's attack with both. Opponent takes it. And then just Moon Mist to flip our mare and start making wolves. Four, four wolves, thanks to our double lords. And now our mare can't flip black, thanks to Emmerwolf. So we're kind of in good shape. Expedition Envoy, uh, not what we were worried about. Opponent passes. A land, but it's tapped. Well, Raging Ravine, let's attack with our wolf token. Yeah, let's just give it Trample, that's fine. Get in 4-3, put our opponent to 8, get another wolf, and we might just, we're very likely to just win next turn by the looks. Another Expedition Envoy. Opponent, well now we win next turn. Opponent goes aggro. I guess figuring they can't win if they play defense. Down to 10. We untap, and that does it! Sweet! Uh, alright, let's run it back. Okay, we'll try this. There's how to free blade. Mountain pass. Mountain. Alright, let's crack wooded foothills. Get a mountain and just bolt how to free blade. Opponent passes. Forest. Reckless wave. Wolf bitten captive. Ship the turn. Alien cabinet. There's Cabria Evangel. Everything gets protection from red. And we will. So kill that. Duskwatch Recruiter, Wooded Foothills, ship the turn. Expedition Envoy. And Reckless Bushwhacker. So our opponent's just going to get in some damage while they can. We are taking a bit. Down to 11. Wooded Foothills, down to 10. Get a Stomping Grounds. Untap Kessig Wolf Run and Huntmaster of the Fells. Puts us back up to 12. Gets us a couple bodies. And let's get in with Duskwatch. Ship the turn. Clifftop Retreat for our opponent. Boros Charm makes our opponent's permanence indestructible. And I think we'll just do some chumping, as odd as this feels, just to maintain our life total. They do have a lot of burn. Well, Mountain, let's just pass the turn and tempt to flip our Huntmaster. Duskwatch flips, Huntmaster flips, we get to hit our opponent and kill Expedition Envoy. I guess I probably should have activated Duskwatch. Another land for our opponent. Passes, ooh man, do we even want Immerwolf? 
Well, it's Duskwatch Recruiter and Duskwatch Recruiter. Get in with our Howler. Helix. All right, opponent goes back to 17. They're out of cards, though. We flip back our Ravager, go back up to 12. Get another Wolf. Huntmaster is so good when it just sits on the battlefield and goes back and forth. So much value. Kind of a no-bow with Immerwolf, though. I'm not even sure if we want Immerwolf, because it keeps our Huntmaster from flipping. It might be better just to start activating Dusk Watches and get value that way. Opponent gives their stuff pro red. Wow. Well, block, block, and block. Get rid of that annoying Evangel. Let's activate Dusk Watch. Get a Mare. Play the Mare. Raging Ravine and get in for six. Now this is where werewolves are good because our opponent's in a position where they almost can't stop us from flipping the werewolves. Because if they play a spell here to keep us from flipping, which they kind of have to do, then they played the one spell in their hand and we can just pass and flip on our turn. And then once we're flipping, I don't know how our opponent can win here. So much value in this flip. All right, opponent passes, Mare flips, Huntmaster flips, Duskwatch, let's, actually, let's not. Let's leave up our Wolf Run instead. Flips, flips, kill the Blade Master. Will they draw Boros Charm? All right, Boros Charm to save the Blade Master. Mare flips, can we win? Five, nine, yeah. Windswept Teeth, swing with everything. So we should be able to just trample over for lethal. Opponent chumps the creature with trample. All right, change their mind. Don't want to chump a creature with trample. That is the opposite of what you want. All right, but we get to give any creature they block trample, so it works out either way. Wolf run, plus four, and trample, and that should do it. And sweet. Oh, I did it by a mile. Well, <laughs> I guess we can beat red white allies. Against odds time, <laughs> playing some werewolves in modern, and uh, double raging ravine is annoying, but I think we keep it. We got a bolt. Looks like a hate bear deck. On tap land? Uh, Duskwatch. All right. Raging ravine, go. Maybe playing the full playset of raging ravines is a bad idea. Marsh flats. Cracks it. Overgrown tomb, untapped. And wall of omens. Wolf bitten captive. Raging ravine, go. Ether vial ticks up to two. String Wildwoods. Birds of Paradise. What is this deck? Well, Mountain. Mirror of Avbruck. Pass the turn. Leave up Lightning Bolt. No Vile. Plains. That's a Siege Rhino. Okay. Another Bolt. Well, let's Dusk Watch. Pass the turn. Still no Vile. Another land for our opponent. If we ever get to flip, we're in such sweet shape. Opponent gets in for four with Rhino. No blocks. Another Rhino would be super bad. <laughs> White Mane Lion. All right. Has to bounce something. Looks like it's going to be bounce and then violin the Rhino. Yep. All right, let's bolt White Mane Lion. Opponent vials in the Rhino. All right. <laughs> and Eerie Interlude. Oh, my God. Well, we get Kessig Wolf Run and Huntmaster of the Fells. And we might as well get in a point of damage. When our stuff flips, it's going to be sweet, but our opponent gets back their stuff, gets another Rhino trigger, draws a card, and gets to bounce the Rhino. Yep, so we're down to nine. File's going to stay at four. Temple Garden tapped. Opponent casts the Rhino. All right, puts us down to six. We are just going to pass the turn, try to get our flipping going on. File in a Restoration Angel, which is going to blink the Rhino. And I think that means we're dead. We get to flip everything, but we die. And another Restoration Angel. All right. Well, we know what our opponent's doing now. And Blood Moon seems good. Go down Outlaws and Gyre Reach Bandits. Yeah, we probably want Destructive Revelry to stop the loop. Yeah, let's try it like that. All right, we get to play first. I guess this is okay. Wolf Bitten Captive, go. Godless Shrine, tapped. Well, we flip our Wolfbitten Captive, Forest, Mirror of Avbruck, get in with our Killer, put our opponent to 18, Razor Verge Thicket, and Wall of Omens. Uh, let's just Raging Ravine, attack with both, pass the turn, 
flip our mare. Windswept Teeth. And opponent passes. Once Windswept Teeth, just attack with our killer. Alright, let's let it go. We could have pumped to kill it, but play another mare. Opponent has Abrupt Decay. Alright. Pass the turn. Blood Moon would be the best draw. Cracks Windswept Teeth. Gets Forest. And Kitchen Finks. Alright, let's crack Windswept Teeth. Get Stomping Grounds tapped. There's the Blood Moon. That's what we wanted. Blood Moon. Opponent cracks Windswept Teeth. Gets a Plains. So they still have a little bit of mana. Forest, go. Opponent gets in 4-2 with the Finks. And Restoration Angel. Blinks Wall of Omens. Well, let's attack with our killer. And then pump it. Hit our opponent 4-6. Down to 11. Pass the turn. Flip our mare. Birds of Paradise. And our opponent gets in 4-6. And passes. We get a Kessig Wolf Run, which is a mountain. Swing with both. They really... Oh, they have Path. Alright, Path. Pump our killer. Opponent blocks. And both the Birds of Paradise. Problem is, we're pretty close to dying to just what our opponent has. They get in 4-6. Could use a Hunt Master. Opponent passes. Well, let's attack. Opponent has another Path to Exile. We get a Mountain. Duskwatch Recruiter. Immerwolf. Pass the turn. Another Forest for our opponent. Goes attacking. We block with Immerwolf. Opponent goes back up to 13. We activate Duskwatch. We do get the Hunt Master, but that doesn't quite keep us alive. Oh! Alright, that does it. Alright, against the odds, Werewolves in Modern. So, Stomping Ground, Untapped, Wolf Bitten Captive, go. Island for our opponent, and passes. We flip our captive. Attack 4-2. Raging Ravine, ship the turn. Another island. What are we up against? Passes, we attack 4-2. Mayor Vavbruck. Resolves. Raging Ravine. Go. Well, our opponent's going to have to start playing things. Flip Mare is not good for them. If this is like taking turns or something. Yeah, this looks like taking turns. Temple Bell. Gyre Reach Bandit. And attack for a bunch. Seven. Puts our opponent down to nine. Each draw card. Mountain. Jace Bellerin. Yeah, I think we got this. Each player draws. Outlaw. Each player draws Reckless Waif, Ghost Quarter, opponent discards, so we forest. Yeah, let's just swing with everything at our opponent. Put them to two, and then a Lightning Bolt to finish the job. Not redirecting. Well, that went pretty well. Oh, Choke. Also, Destructive Revelry is good against what they're doing. And maybe Needle as well. Going down, Creature Removal, Outlaw. Daybreak Ranger, and I guess Reckless Wave. Let's try it like that. Uh, Alright, pretty aggressive. Leyline of Sanctity. Uh, I guess that stops Lightning Bolt to the face. Doesn't stop Wolf Bin Captive. Ship the turn. Planes for our opponent. This deck looks a lot different. Is this a Turbo? F I'm confused now. We get to flip. Get in 4-2. Wooded Foothills. Crack Wooded Foothills, get a Mountain, and Reckless Waif. Pass the turn. Island, and Tutelage. Well, let's just Mountain, Immerwolf. Attack for 5. Down to 13 for our opponent. We start getting milled. Hits 4. And Jace. Each player draws. We get a Raging Ravine. Opponent gets a bunch more mills. Wolf Bitten Captive. Well, let's play our Mare. Send Summit Jace, one at our opponent. And then Wolf Bitten Captive, Raging Ravine, go. Well, I'm expecting our opponent to start fogging like crazy. We could use a Destructive Revelry. Temple Bell. And our opponent passes. We send everything at our opponent. They gotta start fogging if they have the opportunity. Each draws, we get an Emmerwolf. And our opponent gave us the GG's, could not find a fog. Well, uh, okay. <laughs>
I guess that's what you do against Turbo Fog. Just put as much pressure as possible. Sweet. All right, against odds time, werewolves in modern. Yeah, it sounds fine. Hopefully we get a land, but Swift Spear. Well, we can bolt that. Taking one down to 19. Um, yeah, let's just crack this. Get a mountain and bolt. Ship the turn. Another Swift Spear. Tex 4-1. Down to 17. All right, Windswept Teeth, crack it. Forest and Mare. Ship the turn. So our opponent's probably going to have to kill the Mare. Or at least keep us from, from flipping it. Our big problem is we don't have a third land. Swift Spear number three. Yep, Searing Blaze. Not good. Down to nine. That is a pretty low life total. Especially since we can't... <sighs> Alright, Mayor go. Yeah, we're not going to win because we did not hit a third land. Shard Volley. Alright, our opponent had pretty much everything they needed. I don't even know if we have any real sideboard cards. I think we just got to run it back. All right, we're on the play, and... Oh, goodness. All right, I guess we got a mulligan. Well, this might be better. We get to scry. Keep the land on top. All right, Raging Ravine, go. This hand seems reasonable. We don't have any life gain, but we can cast everything. Spark Elemental. Gonna put us down to 17. Problem is, if our opponent has many Searing Blazes and Searing Bloods, oh, those cards are so bad for us. So forest, Duskwatch, go. Come on, no Searing cards. Searing Blaze, down to 14. Well, Wooded Foothills, crack it. Get a Forest and Gaia Reach Bandit. Get in some damage. So opponent's down to 17. If they have more than one Searing Blaze slash Blood, then I don't think we can win. Oh my goodness, Searing Blood. Let's Daybreak Ranger, pass the turn. Opponent draws their third land. Rift Bolt suspended. Oh my god. Well, that is the worst. Yeah, that's just the nut draw. I mean, ugh, the odds of having three of those and ten cards are pretty minuscule. If their spells were not dealing damage to us, that would be fine. Like if they were having to use lightning bolts, but the fact that they had, had three searing effects is... I mean, there's not much we can do about that. Bolt. And Spike. All right. All right. Against the odds, werewolves in modern. Ugh. Well, interesting. Kind of land heavy on the draw. Catacombs and passes. Well, cavern and wolf bitten captive. Ship the turn. Opponent cracks for catacombs. Gets a watery grave. Tapped. Overgrown tomb. What is this deck? Duskwatch Recruiter. Interesting. Let's forest. Attack with our Wolfbitten Captive. Play Wolfbitten Captive. Play Reckless Waif. Ship the turn. Serum Visions for our opponent. Leaves one on top. Ships the other to the bottom. Breeding Pool. Untapped. Alright, well our opponent's down to 14. Another Serum Visions? I'm kind of surprised that's worth the life payment. And Inquisition. Can take our mare. Takes Moonlight Hunt. Alright. Maybe they have Damnation or something? Hmm. Alright, let's... Mare. Pump up our team. Attack with everything. Opponent takes it. Wow. Forest, go. What's our opponent playing to? Training Grounds. So Duskwatch is cheap to activate. Activates. Gets a Tassiger. And passes. Well, Cavern of Souls on Wolf. Do some attacking. Activates Duskwatch. Gets <laughs> a second Tassiger. Activates Duskwatch. Gets a Duskwatch. They gotta block or they die. Uh, well, they block and still die. That was an odd choice after all that. All right, well, double pump Wolf Pen Captains hit for eight. Interesting. Training ground bug. Do we want chokes and blood moons? Go down the outlaw, the instigator gang, and maybe a guy or reach. Try it like that. Uh, jeez. All right, this is super land heavy. 
We have a one drop and a ranger and a cavern to make it all uncounterable if that's what our opponent's trying to do. Serum visions. Opponent passes. Oh god. Well, cavern on werewolf and reckless waif. We did not want to draw an additional land. I guess we should have mulliganed. Overgrown tomb. Untapped. And loams back misty rainforest. Sure. Oh god. Wooded foothills. Get in. 4-1. Oh lord. Well, kept the five lander. Drew two lands in a row. Not where we wanted to be. Misty for our opponent. Cracks it. And they dredged. Training grounds and Tassiger. Opponent finds a Tassiger. Plays a Tassiger. Well, crack wooded foothills. Get a stomping ground. Um, yeah, let's just wooded foothills, crack it, get a forest, and daybreak ranger. Pass the turn. Breeding pool for our opponent. And life from the loam, just to get it in the graveyard. Let's mountain and hunt master of the fells. Gets us a wolf, gains us some life. Keeps us going wide. Ship the turn. Goes to attacks. Oh no. Gets in. This most likely means they have damnation. Polluted Delta. Cracks it. Gets a swamp. Wow. Wow. Alright. They just cast another Tassiger. Which means we get to play a tap stomping ground. And we just pass the turn and flip around <laughs> all of our werewolves. So Daybreak Ranger flips, Huntmaster flips, and we deal two to our opponent, deal two to the Tassiger. Our opponent's gonna need something pretty good here. All right, Training Grounds, sure. And Collected Company. So we're gonna flip our werewolves back around. They get a Pack Rat and a Dusk Watch. Deck is spicy. No attack, so we need to fight Pack Rat, moon, Moonlit Hunt, the Tassiger, untap. In response to these triggers, we fight Duskwatch. Well, <laughs> our Daybreak Ranger is really good in this game. And our opponent scoops it up. Sweet! Against the odds, playing some werewolves in modern. And this is reasonable. Actually, pretty good curve. So cavern on werewolf. <laughs> uh, opponent knows what's up. Wolf bitten captive, go. Serum visions for our opponent. Oh, lotus bloom. So this is ad nauseum. This might be tricky. Well, cavern of souls on werewolf. And mare. Get in with wolf bitten captive. Put our opponent to 18. So I think we just gotta try to kill our opponent before they can combo off. Sleight of hand. Island. Well, let's attack with both. Uh, forest and Daybreak Ranger. I don't know. It's counting down. Next turn, they get the Lotus Bloom, which probably means we just die next turn. There's the Gemstone Mine. Well, everything flips, which is sweet, but they might be planning on just using an Angel's Grace. Five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, well, Kessig Wolf Run, swing with everything. We can force them to have it. I mean, we have a ton of damage. And there's the Angel's Grace. As predicted, goes to one. We get a wolf. Well, do we die? We had lethal on turn four, which is pretty good for this deck. But our opponent had Angel's Grace. And there it is. A second Angel's Grace. And ad nauseum. And that does it. Okay. Well, we had a good draw, but there just wasn't... Wasn't much we could do about that. So how do we fight this deck? Needle for Lightning Storm. I guess we can definitely take down Creature, take out Creature Removal. And maybe even like Daybreak Ranger just isn't that good. And that gives us room for a couple of Destructive Revelries. I guess we can try a couple Blood Moons. I guess maybe a Duskwatch, try it like that. Well, this is pretty aggressive. Is it good enough? Mountain and Reckless Wave. Pass the turn. Dark Slick Shores and Sleight of Hand. Reckless Wave, attack for one, Raging Ravine, pass the turn, Gemstone Mine for our opponent, and Pentad Prism. Let's Mare, Mountain, attack for four, down to 15, Serum Visions, 
Bottoms both. So we still could just be dead next turn. Another Serum Visions. They will likely have the mana. Bottom, bottom. Maybe they don't have everything they need. Destructive Revelry would be pretty awesome. Opponent passes. Immerwolf. Swing with everything. Man, it's going to be just like last game. So we have lethal next turn. Do we live till next turn? And does our opponent have Angel's Grace? Spoils of the Vault. They could kill themselves here. In search of what? Come on, die to spoils! Oh, no way! Oh my goodness. Oh. Alright, now we're, now we're dead. Oh my goodness. Oh, Alright. Well, I don't... The odds, I don't know... I don't think the odds were in favor of them living there, but it worked out for them. Opponent gets to draw their entire deck, and then Lightning Storm for the win. Actually, they can't Lightning Storm. Yeah, they can, because they have Desperate Ritual. All right, that does it. I was really hoping they were going to die to that Spoils of uh, spoils of the Vault. All right, against odds, Werewolves in Modern. Uh, okay, uh, zero lands. Well, now we have lands. So, Wolf Bitten Captive, go. Mana Confluence. So, is this like Slivers or Allies or something? Ad Nauseam. Oh my god. Dredge? Ugh. Oh, <laughs> Dark Blast. Dark Blast kills a lot of our stuff. Uh, Foothills, go. Is our opponent going to start dredging? Conflagrate and Gnaw to the Bone. And a Stinkweed. Neonate. Sacks it. Discards Dark Blast. Dredges. Oh, Lord. City of Brass. Oh, well, that's actually not the worst. Like, it's horrible, because our opponent gets to dredge a million times. But, our hand is pretty bad. So hopefully our hand improves. Yeah, let's crack this fetch. Stomping Grounds, tapped. Dredges, dredges, gets a Narc Amoeba. Dredges. Oh, no! We discarded Huntmaster and drew more lands. And a Wolf Bent Captive that dies to Dark Blast. Yeah, I don't think we can win this. Our opponent's gonna get back so many things. Del a prized Amalgam, a prized Amalgam, prized Amalgam, prized Amalgam. Bloodgast, yeah. S uh, Stitchwing, yikes. Yeah, so we're just dead, I think. That's quite the, quite the dredging. Ye that's turn two. Uh, all right. Well, that was quite the dredge hand. Luckily, we have two Graph Diggers cages. And that's it. We could bring in Blood Moons. Blood Moons keep them from winning fairly. We don't have that much graveyard hate, though. Yeah, maybe we got a Blood Moon, too, and try to reduce the number of things that die to Dark Blast. Try it like that. All right, we get to play first. And we have Graph Digger's Gage and Blood Moon. <laughs> All right. Well, we got our hate cards. These are the cards we want against Dredge. So Cavern, on Werewolf, Graph Digger's Cage, Gemstone Mine, and Nature's Claim. Insolent Neonate. Well, that's Reckless Waif, Stomping Ground, Untapped, past the turn. Well, if they can't kill our Graph Digger's Cage and we get him Blood Moon, then I feel like we got it. Sex Neonate gets a Narco Amoeba, Faithless Looting, and Amalgam. Well, they can't bring it back because of Graph Digger's Cage. Deck more Selvage. Come on, no Nature's Claim. We flip our Reckless Waif. Tag for three, Forest, and... Blood Moon. So this should be a pretty hard lock against this deck. I don't think they have a way to kill our stuff with just red mana. And our opponent, <laughs> opponent scoops it up. All right, well, <laughs> wasn't so much about the werewolves, but still counts. Well, let's try it again. Uh, hmm. We have no disruption. Two one drops that die to Dark Blast. I think we got them all again. Well, we're down to one one drop that dies to Dark Blast. And a Blood Moon, but no Graph Digger's Cage. Uh, we're going to put Immerwolf to the bottom. Graph Digger's Cage? Now well, let's just Cavern, Werewolf, and Wolf Bitten Captive. Pass the turn. City of Brass. Adds red. Burning Inquiry. Our opponent does not discard a Dredger, though. Well, let's... Wooded Foothills, crack it, get a Stomping Grounds, untapped, attack, pump, hit our opponent for three, flip, and now we get to start playing Blood Moons next turn. Hopefully our opponent can't do anything too awesome this turn. Gemstone Mine. And now that we're flipped, it doesn't just die to Dark Blast, which is nice. Stinkweed Imp. All right, that's fine. We still get to Blood Moon. Ooh, and a Mare. All right, so Blood Moon. Make it very difficult for our opponent to cast things. Opponent passes. Cavern on werewolf and let's hunt master feel like we're in good shape 
<laughs> Blood Moon against this deck is pretty good. They're playing all five color lands. All right, I don't think we want to kill the Stinkweed Imp because that lets them start dredging, or don't want to kill it yet at least. Instead, we will Mayor of Avbruck and pass the turn. I think we just build up to where we can win in one swing and then kill it. Burning Inquiry. Um, okay. Discard a couple lands and our second Blood Moon. All right, our opponent got a Grave Troll, so there's no point in keeping this Stinkweed alive now. Another five, co five color mountain. All right, let's bolt Stinkweed. Mare, swing with everything. Puts our opponent to three. Reckless wave, flips, flips, gets a wolf. And our opponent needs something pretty good here. Well, they dredge, they get back Narcomoeba, which gets them back a prized amalgam, but I don't think that's enough. Think we got it. Flashback looting, all right. I guess they can do a bunch more dredging, but they can't cast the things they need to cast, like gnaw to the bone. So they dredge, they dredge, discard a couple cards, grave trolls, gets back blood gas, can't block, uh, another amalgam trigger, and I don't think they survive this. We swing with everything, <laughs> and that does it. Oh, all right, werewolves. I guess actually blood moon, but still, werewolves, beating dredge. All right. Against the odds time, playing some green-red werewolves in modern. Uh, this is fine. We've we'll got a one-drop, a couple removal spells. How good it is probably depends mostly on the matchup. Bloodstain Mire for our opponent. Well, Stompy Ground, untapped, and Wolfpin Captive. <laughs> good old 1-1 one, one for one. Might be up against Jund. Watery Grave for our opponent. Sulphur Falls, and... All right, we get to flip our wolf pain captive. Well, let's get in 4-2, hopefully. Put our opponent down to 17. Uh, wolf pain captive, raging ravine, and pass the turn. All right, terminates the flipped wolf pain captive. Polluted delta, and sword of the meek. Hmm, we don't have a good answer to the combo. But we get to get in 4-1. Wolf run, daybreak ranger, and ship the turn. Opponent cracks polluted delta. If they just have... The Thopter Foundry, we're going to have a hard time winning. They can just gain so much life. Like, we can kill 1-1s one for a while, but the end game is eventually we will die to it. Nile Spellbomb, all right. Well, Raging Ravine, swing with both. Pump our captive. Put our opponent down to 10, and pass the turn, try to flip our stuff, maybe. Opponent's down to 9 from Polluted Delta. Cracks the Spellbomb, draws a card. Exiling the graveyard isn't especially relevant. All right, our stuff flips, which is nice. So we kind of have lethal next turn if our opponent can't disrupt us. Opponent passes. All right, well, let's attack with both. Snapcaster Mage uh, for the Terminate. Well, let's Moonlit Hunt the Snapcaster. All right, they kill one of our creatures. We kill the Snapcaster. We get in for two. And then I think we just play a mare. Ship the turn. Flip our killer back around. Island for our opponent. We still, we need to kill them before they draw the, <laughs> draw the Thopter Foundry. Oh, Coligan's Command? All right. Well, that's better than the, the other options. Let's attack with Raging Ravine. Hope our opponent doesn't have a bolt. Down to three. Now we get to flip our mare. And we have our opponent in Lightning Bolt range. So... That does it! Whoo! <laughs> well, we are lucky they did not draw the combo. This seems like a Tezzeret, Tezzerator, whatever, deck. Well, we definitely want Destructive Revelry, want Pithing Needle. Maybe Shatterstorm? Yeah, we probably want Shatterstorms as well. And even Chokes have some appeal. And then, go down. So, Outlaw's not great. Ranger isn't that great. Gaia Reach is only okay. We can probably go down Moonlit Haunt. Let's go down Gaia Reach, Instigator Gang, and a Reckless Wave. Try it like that. Uh, all right, let's ship it. And okay, we got Shatterstorm, which could be super good. And our opponent went to six as well. Second Huntmaster. All right, we'll go with power. Huntmaster is powerful. Well, Raging Ravine, goo. Bloodstain Mire for our opponent. Cracks it. Inquisition takes our Wolf Bitten captive. Um, Raging Ravine, goo. There's the Sword of the Meek. What did Foothills go? Well, we get to start tapping out for Huntmasters next turn, which is something. Opponent passes. 
Well, Wooded Foothills, crack it. Stomping Grounds, tapped. Well, Forest and Huntmaster. Do they have a counter? No. All right. I'm sure they have a removal spell, but at least we get a wolf out of it. It's the nice thing about Huntmaster is even if it dies, at least we get a wolf, so it's kind of a two-for-one. Uh, except they two-for-one us back. Um, let's just pitch Mountain. We'll draw another land. Ship the turn. Opponent passes. Now let's get in with the wolf. Huntmaster number two. And they have another Coligan's Command. All right, they just bolt the Huntmaster. Well, we got two wolves. Raging Ravine, go. And we have three Raging Ravines. So we can kind of just start suiciding in with Raging Ravine. Opponent passes. Another bolt. Let's just attack with our wolves here. Coligan's Command kills a wolf. We discard a bolt. Opponent's down to 14. Opponent still can't draw their fourth land. Um, all right, let's attack with our wolf. Lightning Bolt. Well, Mare, pass the turn. There's the land. And P and Karen. All right, well, let's just Lightning Bolt P and Karen. And then let's attack with Raging Ravine, I think. And that lets us flip Huntmaster. Or Mare, I mean. So attack with Raging Ravine. And we get a counter on it, so it's out of Lightning Bolt range. Flip our Mare. Academy Ruins. It's a good answer to Shatterstorm. Slow, but effective. Windswept Teeth. All right, let's Huntmaster. Probably should have held Windswept Teeth, just in case. All right, Tribute to Hunger. But we get a Huntmaster. Our opponent is also down to one card. And we have Creature Lands. And they got to keep Huntmaster from flipping. Snapcaster is still really bad. Well, there's Sopter Foundry. Well, crack Windswept Teeth. Get a Stomping Ground. Well, Shatterstorm gets rid of all that stuff. We get to get in for four. There's Snapcaster. All right, they're going to get the board clean, but their hand's empty. So they block, trade with our wolf, untap. Are they, they did not use their academy ruins. Thirst for knowledge. Pitches Leak and Snapcaster. Well, let's... Oh, this is hard. Let's get in with Raging Ravine. Why your opponent can't deal with it. Down to eight. Pass the turn in case of Coligan's command. Opponent's going to crumble our big Raging Ravine. Well, let's Stomping Ground, Untapped, Choke, and Immerwolf. So this keeps our opponent off a couple lands. Makes it a lot harder for them to combo off. We might be getting there. And that does it. Opponent scoops it up. Sweet. Taken down, Tesserator. So what did we learn this week? Well, first off, werewolves were better than I imagined they would be. We won 10 out of 20 games, so 50% of our games, and actually 5 out of 9 matches, so we actually had a positive match win percentage, which is pretty crazy. We want, ran into some crazy matchups, but still, I mean, for and against the odds deck, werewolves was pretty good, actually posting a slightly winning record. Uh, that said, this is one of the least crazy decks we've probably ever played on against the odds. It's pretty much straightforward. We play a bunch of werewolves, we look to beat down one of the werewolves, and hope that that's good enough. The problem with werewolves is it's... It's like an aggro deck, but it's extremely high variance uh, because of the design of the werewolves themselves. The so werewolves, if they flip, they are way above the curve and awesome. On the other hand, if they don't flip, we're playing one drops that are worse than Raging Goblin and playing two twos for three and just things that aren't very good. So there's very few cards in our deck that are good when we play them. Like Huntmaster is legitimately good whether it flips or not. Gaia Reach Bandit is sort of passable as a 3-2 with haste, and Duskwatch Recruiter is a grizzly bear with upside, so we have a couple cards that are fine either way, but for the most part, uh, if things go well and we flip our stuff, our deck runs well. If things don't go well and we don't flip our stuff, we're playing a bunch of really underpowered creatures, and Modern, more so than Standard, is a really hard format to actually flip werewolves because there's so many cheap instants. It's really easy for an opponent to... Uh, play something on their turn, leave up a lightning bolt or a path to exile, something along those lines. If we try to pass our turn so we flip all our werewolves, our opponent can just bolt or path at the end of our turn, and then we just time locked ourselves, which feels horrible. So there's some weird issues with... <laughs> trying to flip the werewolves. Anyway, I think the deck was fun. I think it's really flavorful. Hopefully it gets some more pieces in Eldritch Moon. But looking over this list, a high percentage of these cards are from the older set. 
Uh, out of Shadows of Innistrad, we have Moonlit Hunt, we have a Duskwatch Recruiter, and a couple of Gyre Reach Bandits. Otherwise, the old werewolves are pretty much just better than the new werewolves. Uh, so, we'll see. Maybe they'll print something really powerful and really good that can slot into this deck. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our Werewolves in Modern Against the Odds, and I will talk to you soon.